Hi, this is Garotaki. Today I'm going to talk about SSD hard drives and also I'm going to show you how to image your current hard drive and take that image, save it to an external hard drive and take that image from the external hard drive and put it back to the new SSD hard drive. Hopefully that made sense. SSDs provide a faster file transfer, they provide faster boot up, and they also provide faster access to your data. The bad thing about SSD is that after a certain amount of time, they're going to perform slower. After constant writing data, erasing data, the cells inside the uh, SSDs eventually burn out. This is a mechanical hard drive. This needle pretty much just writes the data, it goes back and forth. Never touch this, this will ruin your hard drive. Here is the SSD hard drive. This is just a bunch of RAM joined together with a controller up here. Today I'm going to use Acronis, Acronis Snap and Deploy. Here are the things you're going to need. USB flash drive. You will also need SATA to USB adapter. An external hard drive. Because you're going to take the image and put it inside the external hard drive. And at the same time, this is your backup. If you're not sure what imaging is, you're just taking a snapshot of your current configuration on the hard drive with all the software, all the drivers, saving it, and then later on you could use it to restore it or put it back on the um, put it back onto another hard drive. In this case, we're putting it back to a new SSD hard drive. This is my Edge memory hard drive. Why am I using an SSD that's only one 20 gig hard drive, which is a pretty small size? It's just that I'm cheap, I guess. They cost around maybe two to three dollars per gigabyte versus the regular mechanical hard drive, which you spend around eight nine cents per gigabyte. In my case, I'm just using one twenty gig hard drive, which is just fine. My image is going to be only sixty gigabytes, so it definitely fits inside this one twenty gig hard drive SSD.
watching hope you enjoyed the video leave your comments in the bottom subscribe in the description look for a link for any ISO files you may need you never know take care